I'm getting too old for this shit. It's a long way up. I'm no VRF guy, but uh, you can hear the hissing. The, uh, the usual low charge sign that you hear on a you know walk-in box is easy to hear. Uh, it's trying to keep that head pressure up. This these numbers look okay. This guy's gonna be low on charge. It, they, it says, I guess this was from install. It says they hit 269 microns. I don't know what that decay test looked like or if we just sprung a leak, but uh, I've got no fan motor. Periodically, I'd see it kind of spin. It's just trying to maintain head pressure. It's gonna be a little bit low. Uh, at least somebody calculated the total for us. So we're gonna start adding and see where we get. And then we're gonna have to do a thorough leak check. It's gonna take some time. I'm just trying to get them through at least the rest of the week. Now we should start hearing the compressor ramp up and we're adding slow just cracked you can see i'm just barely floating there i'm sure there's accumulator inside here but i haven't traced down the piping i'm going straight into suction line here i just don't want to flood my compressor so we're just going to be easy with it let it go slow as this pressure comes up we're probably going to see that fan start to turn just a little bit it's coming actually about 85 now but we're going to start to see that fan move there it goes it's starting to think about it And compressor just ramped a little more the compressors ramping up the fans not quite there yet it's getting ready to kick in I would assume I'm just kind of looking at the normal spots up here the our all the joints I'm gonna assume because I don't see any oil in the condenser that my leak was gonna be down inside somewhere and if you get a look at these uh, brace joints I'm pretty sure it's gonna be on one of our connections guys gonna be okay I only got like I don't know I have like 10 pounds maybe so I'm just gonna dump what I got I'm gonna have to go get more I don't know what i'm not sure exactly what controls that fan like i said i'm not a vrf guy somebody can tell me probably somebody smarter than me but it's going to go off temperature or pressure i don't know if it's got transducers i know there's you can plug into it somehow i don't have that software it's got a led up here which is pretty nice uh I, I, overall looking at the machine it looks nice uh no obvious no lockouts or anything on it it's sitting here trying to cool the space the space just started to deviate from set point a few degrees and that's what prompted the call to us and now I'm here spending time doing this it's gonna take some time and effort to leak check this whole thing we're gonna start with all the basic spots uh, the the heads are I don't know 15 foot or so above a drop ceiling in an office so limited access but I think I'd start with the uh, the header or distributor box or I don't, I don't know what you VRF guys call it but you know what I mean that's probably where I'd start and all the actual connections I, I don't even know how that is not leaking and, and hell that might be it right there I would just expect to see some oil you can hear the the hissing has changed pitch it's gotten less kind of like I'm actually getting liquid I actually got a warm liquid line and a cold suction line now and my fan just kicked in I think this guy's gonna be all right uh, I'm gonna have to go get some more refrigerant take the long trek back up here it is it's not even that high but it's high shout out to the crew these hats are necessary in this heat especially on these white roofs but this compressor keeps ramping up if you can hear that change in sound. And it's gonna start sounding more normal by the time I get enough refrigerant in it for it to work. And then we're just gonna have to spend some time leak checking. It's gonna take some time. So these are two of the other units. Look like this one got hit by a truck. I don't know what the hell happened here, but you can hear their, their whisper quiet. Fans at a steady speed. Compressors probably at a steady speed too. They're uh, all satisfied. I didn't have any or, uh, any complaints anywhere else. You know the crazy thing? I don't know if y'all can see all the way over there the the maroon hatch where I come up at. So this is the front office. So you enter here. That's the roof hatch over there. 
you see all the way back in the corner, there's a the VRF that I've got torn apart and I'm adding charge to right now. Nowhere on this roof do I see water. I and the, I mean we're probably 40 foot. There's a building next to me. This is probably 40 foot or so. You're gonna have. I mean you're gonna take hundreds of feet of holes, and that's if it's right here on this side. If it's over in the middle or depending on where it's at, man. They put all this other stuff up here. I mean, hell, I got like alarm lights. I don't know if this is fire, like like for the fire system, which is pretty cool because I'd like to know if the building catches on fire and I'm up here. But no water access. I mean, can, can we get can we get an engineer to start thinking about the service guys? It's got lap ear stairs over here, getting my shit up here, and I ain't even carried that much up. But getting my shit over here just to charge this VRF is hard enough. And now you're going to be lugging four or five, six hundred foot of holes. I think everything else is just warehouse. It's all makeup airs over here. But you got makeup air filters that need to be cleaned. Uh, think about the service guys out here. I'm sure y'all see the same crap. Joints like this are screaming you're using a B-tank on what's, I don't know, one inch maybe, inch and a quarter. I mean, can I get a little shoulder? I still don't think any of this is leaking. Or this, which looks just as bad. But man, you have to check every joint that they made all the way down. Find the oil, find your leak. <laughs>